I believe that church leadership, church pastors are shepherds, not only spiritual shepherds, but I believe they are physical shepherds. And we need to pre protect our people from, from harms, from physical harms, just as this. Not only am I a pastor, a shepherd of a church, I'm also a, a father and a husband. And as a father and husband, I, I believe I have a, a biblical mandate to protect my wife and family from physical harm. And that doesn't stop when I leave the house. If I'm at the mall, if I'm at a movie theater, if I'm in church, I'm responsible to protect my wife and children. And I will do that. I will do that and I will use every, every means available to me, force if necessary, deadly force if necessary, to protect my wife and children. And I believe churches also have that responsibility. Now, we need to be very careful when we do so to make sure that we don't endanger innocent lives as we're, that we're trying to protect. And so I looked for a resource after the Sandy Hook shooting a few years ago that would address uh, uh, church leadership and how to go about setting up uh, an armed safety response team. And I looked for a resource and I could not find that resource. And being as I was a, a San Antonio police officer for 24 years, personally I'd been, I'd been involved in, in, in a shooting uh, on duty. I, as a homicide detective, I investigated shootings. As an internal affairs investigator, I investigated officer-involved shootings. So I had the, the personal skill and knowledge of, of the tactical side. As a pastor, I also understood the, the spiritual side. And so I decided to write the book myself. So I wrote the book, Pistol in the Pulpit, and it addresses the issues that Christians have about, about um, using lethal force to defend themselves or another. And I believe the, the Bible, both Old Testament and New Testament, uh, support and in fact uh, give the responsibility for shepherds to protect their flock. If your church is not going to have an armed team respond, at least have some response. If a bad guy comes in the back of a sanctuary with a gun and starts shooting people, what, what, what we teach in our church before we had the team is for the women and children to go down and for the men to grab a hymnal, a Bible, something and throw it at, at, the, at the assailant and attack the assailant. Does that mean that these men are going to put their lives in danger? Yes, it does. But that's what we're called to do. And so uh, it's better to have just a few hurt or perhaps even a few killed and many killed. The message for, for, for those in Texas is, first of all, we that are not there, we need to pray and, and, and encourage them. And we know that, that in the end, that, that uh, the gospel will come through and, and the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is going to uh, uh, prevail. And so I, I ask you to pray for, for Pastor Frank and for Sherry. And as he ministers to his own family, as others minister to him, and as he ministers to his his prisoners, just, just pray for them that they will continue to have their faith in the Lord.